Uh, hello, my name is uh, Dr. Tuck. I am the uh, the consultant for the show. These are the two trainee doctors. Uh, uh, welcome, uh, Sarah Benetto. Hello. Yay! Hello. Yeah, this is And uh, uh, we will be able to prescribe to you certain um, analgesics or other uh, drugs. More importantly, give you a sick note, enabling you to get out of whatever you would like to get out of. Um, does anyone have something during the next week they'd really rather not do? Just give up rose. Uh, so yeah, 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 by groan. <laughs> <laughs> That's most of you. But rose. Rose, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, please step into my office. At <laughs> <laughs> almost no doctor's surgeries do the patients get a round of applause when they enter the office. <laughs> it's a shame. Yes, they should. Exactly. Yes. 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 Woo! Good luck. Don't die! We are sort of breaking the uh, Hippocratic oath here of the uh, doctor-patient confidentiality. <laughs> yes, <laughs> essentially it's now a Hippocratic oath. <laughs> also, the, the doctor here is drinking a pint. So. <laughs> and stories! Yes, I, I prescribed you seven milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rose, um, uh, is, you are seven years old? Yeah. Yes, you are, yes you are. I mean, uh, you just check that. Yep, that's what a seven-year-old will do. Um, <laughs> uh, and you, uh, you'd like a sick note, um, because uh, you don't want to clean out your cat's poopy paws. <laughs> Quite right. You have handwriting even worse than mine, and I'm a doctor. <laughs> you don't want to clean out your cat's poopy claws. <laughs> With a toothbrush. <laughs> yes, I mean, I think we could all agree that's something you, you'd rather not do. And um, so uh, you, you, you listed three symptoms here when you, when you gave this to the nurse. Uh, uh, thank you, Nurse Dave. Uh, uh, what is a rash? Do you have a rash currently? No. I think my brother does. <laughs> 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 One of the things we don't do when diagnosing a patient is look at their relative's skin. <laughs> family history. Family history, history certainly, certainly, yes. Uh, do, do you have a history of rash in your family? Mm -hmm. uh, any, any, any quick decisions, perhaps? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm screwed. Uh, and and uh, do you know um, what your star sign is? Good. Um, <laughs> uh, could you touch your toe for me? Uh huh. Uh, and could you uh, touch my toe for me? <laughs> <laughs> very, very flexible. Uh, just one moment. Uh, could you put these on for me? Uh huh. And uh, just listen to your heart. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen to your heart. Follow your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. I would, I, would, uh, I would say this is a clear case of uh, not wanting to clean out her cat's poopy claws. Is that uh, a medical condition? It's a very medical condition. She's allergic to uh, poopy claws. Allergic? allergic. Right. And by allergic I mean intolerant, and by intolerant I mean doesn't want to eat. <laughs> Okay, that would be my uh, preliminary diagnosis. Dr. Bonetto, I'd I, I like you to have examine the patient as well, if that's all right. Wonderful. Here we go, guys. <laughs> How are we feeling today? Calm. A little bit in pain. But let's see if the, the root cause of your pain is actually from your mind. Um, talk to me about your cat. What is the cat's name? Coco. Now, would you say that Coco and you are friends? Yes. Oh, poopy claws. <laughs> sure, okay. Now, would you say that Coco has a parental role in your life? No. No? Would you say you're more of the parent to Coco? Yes. How interesting! <laughs> and so, when you're cleaning out all poopy claws, Coco, do you find that you're, you, you tire of this role of constantly having to mother to look after Coco? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and do you find that the pain of this role 
that has been unfairly put upon you by Coco is travelled up into your little finger where you have a splinter and into your little noggin where you have a headache. Is this true? In many ways, oh. is a headache not a splinter of the brain? Oh, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 